Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in the history of Five Towns College, a student will introduce our very respected and esteemed president. At this time, I ask Michael O'Valley to come to the podium. Made it, okay. Whew. That was actually really far. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Thank you. Um, I just want to say, class of 2015, this is the last time that, uh, well, yesterday was the last time you had to order spicy chicken fingers from the uh, upbeat, so good for us. Had to take the S23 bus for the commuters. So, um, Five Towns College was founded in 1972. 42 years later, we got a new president, President Barr. <laughs> I could stand here and talk about all her accolades, but I would rather let you guys know who she is. She was born on October 30th. She's a Scorpio. <laughs> she told me that uh, she was born in 1985. I don't know if that's true or not, but... <laughs> she, she's one of six children to two immigrant parents. But out of those six children, she's the only one that has a doctorate's degree. Um, I asked President Barr, what makes you you? Like, you're such an overachiever. And she was like, I'm just like each and every one of us. I'm like, are you? What's your favorite food? She says, southern fried chicken. <laughs> I said, what's your favorite movie? She said, Rambo. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone is her favorite actor because he doesn't talk and he just punches things. <laughs> That's the president of our school. Um, <laughs> Her favorite vacation place is the Caribbean, and she loves Elvis and Frank Sinatra. Um, now back to my speech. Where was that? Okay, so it truly is an honor to be standing here presenting this greatly admired woman. It is not common to find a president of a college who is loved not just by faculty and staff, but by all students. However, President Barr, as you can see, is not your average president. During her one year as president of Five Towns College, President Barr wasted no time in making improvements to the school. She's done so by meeting some of these illustrious professors and allowing them to take charge, change courses to each division's curriculum so that students can get the proper education that they are paying for and deserve. She's also meeting with the professors, and together they are eliminating expired classes, such as, I may even say them actually, um, that no longer affect on today's current trends. This is something the professors and students have been asking for for years. I got the privilege of interviewing some of these professors. You all know Dr. Richard Kelly. <laughs> Dr. Kelly said that she is someone who is very easy to talk to. He loves that she leaves her office doors wide open, almost as an invitation to anyone. During my interview with Susan Barr, she also mentioned that she has an open door policy with, uh, because she wishes to keep her door open so that students can feel invited to talk to her at any time and never be shy. No issue is too big or small for her. I find that admirable. Um, for some, uh, sorry, lost where I was. Okay, there we go. Susan Barr has been working in Five Towns for 27 years. 27. She came in with Professor Bertain. Both of them were tutors. And now she's the president, and he's one of the most well-liked professors in the English department for five times. Uh, for those of you who don't know Professor Bertain, he's the one who you go to when you need an extension on a due date for one of his papers. <laughs> Her first job in the school was a tutor in the HEOP office. She continues to climb the ladder now that she's the president. She's going to start stirring up the pot, as she likes to say. Um, by the way, we are also we are making history tonight because we are the first graduating class of Five Towns College to graduate under a new president. When I spoke to Bertain, he described President Barr as a very dear friend and a huge supporter of liberal arts. In support of the professors of the school. 
I then went on to ask Bertain, what are three words that you would use to describe her? He says she's a friend, supportive, and dedicated. So then I wanted to ask more professors. I asked Dr. Kathy Curtis, head of the film department. She said, President Barr is a lion among women. I asked James Beneducci, chairman of the theater department. He said that President Barr is supportive, friendly, and a team player. And then I asked Dr. Kelly. He said optimistic, apathetic, and a visionary. I even asked a, baby, I even asked a public safety officer to give me three words to describe President Barr, and his words were, all right, tucka tucka shaka Khan. <laughs> that pretty much says everything. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our new president to the stage, Dr. Susan Barr. <laughs> I hope I can live up to his, uh, to Michael's comments. I'm a little overwhelmed by what he said, but you all know me. So, I would like to welcome you, students, guests, families, staff, Board of Trustees, and thank you for all your support. You're wonderful. We are very honored to have you all share this special day with us as we celebrate the achievement of our graduates. Diana Oblinger, the CEO of EDUCAUSE, a nonprofit association whose mission is to advance higher education, once said that colleges and universities are made of many building blocks. Bricks and mortar are used to fashion classrooms and studios. The, the spaces are designed to welcome students, invite interaction, and support scholarship. But Five Towns College is built of something more. We are built of talented students, professional faculty, and exceptional staff. We are a college dedicated to providing an education that will provide the skills, knowledge, and tools for our students to go out into the world and make it a better place. We engage them in learning. We connect them to technology. We teach them to respect and value diversity. And we encourage their creativity. Most importantly, we are an extended family that sincerely cares for each other. To go far above, we must go together. Our graduates have been encouraged and taught to problem solve, collaborate, explore, share, and construct knowledge, not just memorize it. They are ready to meet the challenges of a global society, and they have the skills and preparation to continue learning in the future. I know that our world will be a better place with our students in it. I cannot adequately express my pride in these graduates. I've attended their concerts, their performances, their end of the semester classroom presentations, their juries, and their special events. They are an incredibly talented and prepared group of men and women. Perhaps my dream is perhaps one day one of them will send a limousine for me to their Emmy or Tony Awards. That's my dream. <laughs> As Stephen Job said, your work is going to fill a large part of your life. And the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. 
And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. Graduates, you are about to enter a new phase of life, and you are prepared. Remember this, you have received an exceptional education in an inspiring and creative environment with perhaps the most caring faculty and staff I have ever had the privilege to work with. You are ready. Be brave. Take the risk of new beginnings and do not ever lose your integrity. Graduates, my congratulations on a job well done.